I'm really excited to see all your faces and try this new school at home. A video conference call with 25 third and fourth graders a lot of people in can be a bit chaotic. At first it was a little overwhelming because everyone was just shouting. Somebody is not muted. Can you make sure yours are muted? After a few weeks away from school for an extended spring break because of COVID-19, Good morning, Savannah. Hi. My daughter, Savannah, and her classmates were thrilled to see each other and their teacher again. She was just saying how she's so happy to see us. It just isn't the same as being in school. It's not as fun as sitting in the classroom with all your friends. But she and other students across the district are getting used to the new normal of home learning. Um, I had a question. Will we do this again? It's been pretty good. I've gotten some work done. And I miss school. It's not like being at school, but it's been good. Good morning, everyone. The transition may have been tougher for the McDonald's. Good morning. A family of six, if you count Sophie the dog. Even Sophie's excited. It's kind of hard to get back in the swing of it yeah. and like change up from like not doing anything and then jumping right back into school. This is the first day of all this. Um, how have you guys been doing? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing great and busy. Yeah, I love that you heard everything from like good to, to rough a little bit. To us, just for students. Like yeah. other working families, Megan, a counselor at El Dorado PK-8, and Greg, an assistant principal at Casey Middle School, who's behind the camera, have had to find balance, in their case, between teaching their kids and everyone else's. You know, I had two hours of meetings this morning with staff and then in the middle, like they were all trying to like get logged on and do their stuff and like get breakfast. And we're like, oh, OK, this is a little chaotic. But then it all settled and they all got their, you know, their stuff done pretty much for the day. Nine times seven. Not to mention that everyone is having to learn a new system and technology. Megan and I have talked. We feel so old with all this technology and trying to learn it and figure these things out in a in a different way. With the help of their kids, they've not only mastered the online learning tools. Good morning, Casey Middle School students. But they created a video for Casey's families. Hola. But it turned out amazing. Oh, yeah. Great feedback from, from parents. Hi, Casey. That really made, made the students feel better about what this morning's gonna look like, so they really appreciated it. It's a good reminder that together, with flexibility and grace, we will get through this. You're all super, and we miss you. Woo! We're just going to be gentle with ourselves, or we're going to take it one step at a time. As with other times in our nation's history, this moment has come with sacrifices and disappointments. Me and Claire are in ragtime right now. Where? At BDT. Yeah. Um, but it got canceled due to the coronavirus, so yeah. It is important to remain focused on the upside. If we can look at some positives out of this whole thing, especially, at least for us as a family, it's forced us to stop and reevaluate. Because we're, as a family of five, we're going and going, and the kids have their plays, and Tate has lacrosse, and music, and all of these things, and this has forced us to reconnect and just put that back into perspective while none of us plan for it. It's been fun because we've been doing activities like games and baking and things like that. The time together is something to be thankful for. It's been nice having time with my family. 